Welcome to the ultimate shiny Pokemon Iceberg. Whether you're a seasoned shiny hunter or just getting started, this video will guide you through the well-known, the obscure, and the downright bizarre facts about shiny Pokemon. If you didn't know already, shiny Pokemon are rare Pokemon that you can encounter in any Pokemon game that have different color variations. Since Pokemon's creation back in the 90s, as we descend through the iceberg, the topics will get more mysterious and less unknown. So hang back, get some food, and get ready to dive in. Level 1. The Tip of the Iceberg Shiny Charizard used to be purple. Everyone knows Shiny Charizard is black now, but did you know it was originally purple? This change made it one of the most iconic shiny Pokemon, and it occurred between Gens 2 and 3, and was not the only shiny Pokemon to change in between those two generations. These days, Shiny Charizard is one of the most iconic shinies, but I do know some people wish we still had that purple shiny from back in the day. Ash's first shiny Pokemon. Ash is the first trainer in the Pokemon anime to catch a shiny Pokemon, that shiny Pokemon being Shiny Noctowl. Shiny Noctowl was caught by Ash in the Johto season in the episode Foul Play. Not only is this Ash's first shiny Pokemon, it is his only shiny Pokemon throughout the 20 plus years of the Pokemon anime. Free Shiny Pokemon I believe this tier is in regards to the shiny Ponyta in Legends Arceus, and the iconic Red Gyarados in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and Heart Gold and Soul Silver as part of their respective game storylines. Did you know, the Red Gyarados is not referred to as a shiny Pokemon, Instead, the color is said to be a result of a forced evolution on a Magikarp by Team Rocket, and one that has made its presence known in almost every aspect of Pokemon. Masuda Method Named after Game Freak director Junichi Masuda, this breeding method greatly increases your chances of hatching a shiny Pokemon. The Masuda Method involves using a Pokemon from a different region than your own and breeding it with one of your Pokemon. For example, I could get a Pikachu from Japan and breed it from my Pikachu from America, and if I breed those together, the chances of the offspring being shiny goes up. In older games, the odds went from 1 in 81.92 to 1 in 1683, while in newer games, your odds go from 1 in 40.96 to 1 in 682. These odds get even better if you have the shiny charm, making the Masuda method one of the premier ways of shiny hunting. As we descend, however, you will find some shiny hunting methods that I know for a fact will leave you stumped. Pokemon Go Shiny Releases Pokemon Go often delays the release of shiny forms when new Pokemon are added, usually saving them for special events like Community Days. The first shiny Pokemon available in Pokemon Go were Shiny Magikarp and Shiny Gyarados as a bit of a homage to the iconic Red Gyarados in Gold and Silver. Community Day Shiny Pokemon These events in Pokemon Go feature one Pokemon with boosted shiny odds, making it easier to add them to your collection. Community Days are usually 3-hour events that take place on the weekend, and these are especially the times where Pokemon Go players get together. Shiny Odds Changing Before Generation 6, the base shiny odds were 1 in 81.92, but they were cut in half to 1 in 40.96, starting with Pokemon X and Y. There are some hardcore shiny hunters that to this day still only hunt in 1 to 8192 games. Chain Fishing A generation 6 shiny hunting method that increases shiny odds by consecutively reeling in Pokemon without breaking the chain. Each unbroken encounter while chain fishing adds another roll up to 40. The best odds you could get for a shiny can get all the way to 1 in 200 using chain fishing. Dex Nav Hunting Introduced in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, this feature increases shiny odds the more you encounter specific Pokemon using the Dex Nav. This is personally one of my least favorite shiny hunting methods, but the odds are pretty good, so maybe you'll have better luck than me. Okay, Radar Hunting First seen in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, this tool lets you chain encounters for better shiny odds. The Poke Radar made us to turn in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, with it having even better odds of catching a shiny Pokemon. The only downside to using the Poke Radar is that each time you encounter a Pokemon, your chain has a small percent chance at breaking, and the higher your chain gets, the better odds you get at getting a shiny Pokemon. Soft Resetting 
A classic method for hunting shiny legendaries and starters is by resetting the game until the shiny appears. Soft resetting, while still possible in recent Pokemon games, was easier in older generations as the consoles back then had an input of buttons you could press which would reset the game instead of having to close the entire game and opening it, making soft resetting easier back then than it is now. Horde Hunting Found in Gen 6 games, this method involves encountering 5 Pokemon at once, upping your chances of finding a shiny. Now I personally have never caught a shiny Pokemon doing horde hunting, but if you have, let me know in the comments. Mass Outbreaks slash Massive Mass Outbreaks These events in Pokemon Legends Arceus increase shiny odds by spawning many of the same species. This shiny hunting method increases your shiny odds anywhere from 1 in 200 to around 1 in 128 with the completion of that specific Pokemon's dex research and acquiring the shiny charm. Catching Pokemon during mass outbreaks and massive mass outbreaks requires a player to sneak up on them and catch them until they stop spawning. Alpha Shiny Pokemon Pokemon Legends Arceus introduced Alpha Pokemon, larger and stronger versions of regular Pokemon, which can also be shiny. Marked Shiny Pokemon Introducing Sword and Shield, marks are a special marking that a Pokemon can have when it's caught that gives a Pokemon a title next to its name, almost like ribbons. Shiny Pokemon with Marks are some of the rare Shiny Pokemon you can get, since Marks themselves are special in their own right. Later on in the video, as we get deeper in, we're going to talk about a specific Mark that is almost downright impossible to get on a Shiny Pokemon. But just because it's almost impossible does not mean it hasn't happened. Shiny Locked Pokemon Starting in Generation 5 with Reshiram and Zekrom, some Pokemon are programmed never to be Shiny, no matter how many times you encounter them. Though locked in their respective games, shiny locked Pokemon do at times become unlocked in later generations. Some shiny locked Pokemon are sometimes given out in distribution events, for example the Sword and Shield Legendary Dogs, which were given out at specific game stops throughout the United States and Canada. Community Hated Shiny Pokemon Certain shinies like Gengar, Blissey, Elekid, and Garchomp are disliked by the community due to their barely noticeable color changes. These shiny Pokemon have a special place in my heart, however, but some people just hate them. But if you're a fan of those Pokemon, I feel you for that. Justice for Hated Shiny Pokemon The Shiny Charm The Shiny Charm, which boosts your shiny odds, first appeared in Generation 5. The shiny odds at the time were 1 in 8192, so the charm when first introduced changed their odds to around 1 in 2731, and in newer generations, from 1 in 4096 to 1 in 1365. And in most games, the Shiny Charm requires you to complete the National Dex or the Regional Dex. The Shiny Charm, since Generation 5, has been a must-have for Shiny Hunters. Unless you're a die-hard full odds hunter. SOS Hunting In Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, SOS battles allow you to chain encounters for better Shiny odds. This method requires you to encounter Pokemon and have those Pokemon call other Pokemon to help them out during the battle. Some items that are helpful for this method are going to be Adrenaline Orbs, and having False Swipe on a Pokemon will be very helpful as well, as the Pokemon is more likely to call for help when it's on 1 HP. After every 10 calls, your chances of encountering a Shiny increases all the way until your best odds are 1 in 273 with Shiny Charm, making this one of the best methods for shiny hunting pokemon let's go chaining catching the same pokemon repeatedly in let's go pikachu and eevee increases your shiny odds but it only works for the pokemon that appears immediately after the last catch this is something that was unknown until very recently which means for the majority of let's go's lifespan most of the shiny pokemon caught have been at higher odds than previously thought more than likely the shiny pokemon you caught was close to full odds unless you had the shiny charm and then lures as well help increase shiny odds and let's go. Ultra Wormhole Shinies In Ultra Sun and Moon, you can find shinies in the Ultra Wormholes with significantly boosted odds. In these wormholes, you can encounter legendary Pokemon and the further you go through the wormhole will then increase your chance of getting the Pokemon and shiny that you want. Square slash Star Shiny Pokemon in Sword and Shield, shiny Pokemon have different sparkle animations, one being the usual star sparkles, and then one that adds some squares that bounce off your Pokemon. 
Sword and Shield are the only Pokemon games to add these different animations to shiny Pokemon. Dynamax Adventures In the Crown Tundra DLC, Dynamax Adventures offer a high chance of encountering shiny Pokemon. Without the charm, the odds after a Dynamax Adventure are 1 in 300, and with charm, they are at a whopping 1 in 100, making Dynamax Adventures one of the best ways to shiny hunt legendary Pokemon. Or, if you like a Pokemon that you find on your path, you can actually save right before and reset your game and continue hunting until you get that Pokemon shiny. Just make sure you have enough Dynidor, since the professional lady at the start does not like when you reset the game. And eventually, you have to start paying up for it. Uncatchable Shiny Pokemon Some Pokemon can appear shiny, but are impossible to catch, like Puchiena in Gen 3. As we get deeper into the iceberg, we will go over some of the more rare uncatchable shiny Pokemon. Some people have even made uncatchable shiny weak, which just goes to show you how deep the shiny hunting community goes. Shiny Power Sandwiches slash Urban Mystica. In Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Urban Mystica and Sandwiches can boost shiny odds. Depending on a combination of ingredients and Urban Mystica, you can increase the odds of a certain type of Pokemon. A Sandwich with Sparkling Power 1 doubles your shiny odds to 1 in 2048. A Sandwich with Sparkling Power 2 triples your shiny odds to 1 in 1365. And finally, the strongest sandwich you can make, a Sandwich with Sparkling Power Level 3 quadruples your shiny odds to 1 in 1024. And these odds stack on top of your shiny charm. Pokemon Sleep. I believe this refers to the more recent Pokemon game called Pokemon Sleep, as it is actually possible to encounter shiny Pokemon in your camp when you wake up. All right, that's the end of level one, guys. Let's get ready to dive a little deeper into level two. Shiny Haxorus in the Nature Preserve. In Black 2 and White 2, a shiny Haxorus can be found in the Nature Preserve after completing the Pokedex. Shiny Gibble slash Routini in Black and White 2. Players who complete the Black Tower or White Tree Hollow get a Shiny Gibble or a Shiny Jatini as a reward. You can get the Shiny Pokemon by traveling to Alder's House in Flosesi Town. The Pokemon will be level 1 and will be holding an EXP share. Shiny Munchlax in Ogre Rousting. In the Teal Mask DLC for Scarlet and Violet, once the player reaches the Festival of Mask section of the story, a minigame unlocks called Ogre Austin. Basically requires you to collect berries and then deliver them to a set location before the time runs out. There are three difficulty levels and a total of 19 stages you need to complete. Once you complete the 10 stages that are in the hard level, you are rewarded with a shiny Munchlax. Shiny Blitzel Trades in Indigo Disc. In the Indigo Disc DLC in Scarlet and Violet, once you invite every coach in the Blueberry Academy to your league room and trading with each of them, you will be able to battle a secret boss. This secret boss you go up against is none other than Director Cyrano, and once you defeat him, you can invite him to your room and by... <laughs> that sounds a little wrong. You can invite him to the league room, and by trading with him, you can get the shiny Blitzel. Cyrano is the strongest trainer in the Indigo Disc, so you have to prepare well for that challenge. Shiny Rayquaza in Pokemon Conquest. In Pokemon Conquest, a shiny Rayquaza can be recruited to your team, making it one of the few shiny legendaries in a spin-off game. Shiny Combuskin's Shiny Change When the Crown Tundra was released as DLC for Sword and Shield, fans noticed Shiny Combuskin had a brand new shiny form. The shiny went from barely noticeable in previous generations to a deep red. This is one of the most recent cases of shiny changes, and one that gives hope to shiny hunters that one day, Pokemon may revisit some of the worst shiny Pokemon ever. Generation 2 Odd Egg In Pokemon Crystal, the Odd Egg you receive from the Daycare Man on Route 34 has a high chance of hatching a shiny Pokemon. This egg can hatch Pichu, Cleffa, Iglybuff, Tyrogue, Smoochum, Elekid, and Magby. On Japanese cartridges, the egg has a 50% chance of being shiny, while in the international releases, the odds are reduced to about 14%. Over 40 shiny Pokemon in the anime. I believe this one was put here in reference to the shiny Pokemon that have made various appearances throughout the Pokemon anime, and have even continued to appear in Pokemon Horizons. Grand Underground in BDSP. The Grand Underground was introduced in the Generation 4 remakes Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. 
If you are able to find 40 Diglets in the Grand Underground, a timer will begin of 4 minutes where your shiny odds are halved, bringing them from 1 in 4096 to 1 in 2048. Now this might not seem like much time, but doing this Diglet minigame with friends makes this a viable shiny hunting option to mix things up for a bit. BDSP Shiny Charm The Shiny Charm in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl only affects eggs and not wild encounters. This is a glitch in the code that was never patched out, so shiny hunting in these games are mostly full odds, but with a variety of shiny hunting methods, you can still increase your odds in other ways. However, this is an example of the Pokemon company kind of throwing some shade at shiny hunters by not patching this out. Handpicked Shiny Colors Starting in Generation 6, shiny colors were no longer randomly generated but carefully chosen by the developers. Now, I personally did some research on this, and there's no concrete evidence or proof if this is true or not. There seems to be much more deliberate shiny palettes nowadays, but until we get confirmation from a developer, it's all just a theory. 3D Models The transition to 3D models made some shiny Pokemon, like Gengar and Togedic, harder to distinguish from their regular forms. If you compare their 3D models to their shiny sprites, you can tell a lot of shiny Pokemon lost their aura in the transition. Shiny Pokemon in Mystery Dungeon In Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, you are able to recruit certain shiny Pokemon, but they are extremely difficult to recruit. The game requires you to complete it fully in order to have a chance at acquiring these shiny Pokemon. There are only 27 Pokemon in the game that can be shiny. There is another Mystery Dungeon game that has shiny Pokemon, but that one will have to wait as we get a little deeper into the iceberg. Shiny Pokemon in the TCG Shiny Pokemon have been a long stay in the Pokemon TCG, and have been around for many years, with the first ever shiny Pokemon card being a shiny Gyarados and a shiny Magikarp, introduced in the set Neo Revelation back in 2001. At the time, shiny Pokemon was just a fan term, and these shiny Pokemon were actually called Shining Pokemon. Since then, there have been entire sets featuring shiny Pokemon like Shining Fates, Hidden Fates, and so on and so forth. Different Shiny Colors in Colosseum and XD Shiny Pokemon in Colosseum and XD Yellow Darkness sometimes have different colors than in the main games. One of my favorite examples being the difference between regular Shiny Suicune and Shiny Suicune from Pokemon Colosseum. There are other examples, but that one to me is the clear best. Pokemon Colosseum and Pokemon XZ Gale of Darkness also have some of the toughest shiny hunting methods, but they are also prime to RNG manipulation. Distributed Gift Shiny Pokemon The first ever distributed shiny Pokemon was the Berry Glitch Shiny Zigzagoon, which players could receive by connecting their games to GameCube demo pods that had the Berry Glitch patch sent to their games. These demo pods were in location like old GameStops, Targets, Toys R Us, and players could bring their consoles to these demo pods to install the patches. However, along with the patch, players then received a special shiny Zigzagoon, which is one of the rarest shiny event Pokemon anyone could have to this day. If you guys are enjoying this video, by the way, make sure to drop a like and hit that sub. We're gonna go even further right now in level three. Cast Forms, Shiny Forms. Originally, Cast Forms other weather forms didn't have shiny versions, but this was changed in Pokemon Home and later in BDSP and Pokemon Go, which added their brand new shiny forms. Majirna Shiny Form Shiny Majirna is the only shiny that has appeared in the anime that is currently impossible to obtain in any way legitimately. There is also a different shiny for each of Majirna's forms, with one being almost completely silver and the other one being the color of an Ultra Ball. Galarian Birds Shiny Distribution The Shiny Galarian Birds were available only to those who participated in a specific Sword and Shield tournament. So if you didn't sign up for those events back in 2022, then you are unable to get them in any way now. There was hope that Scarlet and Violet would introduce a way to shiny hunt these birds as previous generations had done with the previous legendaries, but Scarlet and Violet is the first game where you can't shiny hunt any legendaries. Zera Aura Raid Challenge Players had to defeat 1 million Zera Aura in Raid Dens to unlock a shiny Zera Aura distribution event. I can probably make an entire Iceberg video right now just talking about event shiny Pokemon. Gen 2 Shiny Unknown 
In Generation 2, only the I unknown and the V unknown forms could be shiny. This is because of the way shininess was determined back in that generation. Let's go chaining method. The shiny hunted community initially misunderstood how chaining worked in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, leading to years of incorrect shiny hunting. Before, everyone thought that a chain of 30 Pokemon meant your odds were increased for every Pokemon thereafter, but what we failed to realize was that the odds were only increased for the next spawn of that specific Pokemon. So in order to keep the odds going, we needed to then catch that Pokemon and continue to catch the one that spawned right after. Smeargle's Shiny Swap Smeargle is one of the most notable shiny changes as between generations, normal Smeargle and shiny Smeargle actually completely swap color palettes. Now, why this was done, we still have no idea, but I honestly believe that the change is pretty good. Shiny Incineroar in Super Smash Bros. Shiny Incineroar is the only shiny Pokemon to appear in Super Smash Bros, though others have similar looking alternate colors. And even then, Incineroar's color palette in Smash is actually more gray than white, but that's not even its shiny form. Gen 2 Breeding Increased Shiny Odds In Generation 2, breeding with a shiny Pokemon increased the odds of hatching a shiny, with this feature being the only time this ever appeared in any game. The odds increased from 1 in 128 to 1 in 64, depending on the gen ratio of the Pokemon you're hatching for. Shiny IV Calculation Change As of Ruby and Sapphire, a Pokemon's shininess is no longer determined by its IVs, but by its personality value, trainer ID, and secret ID. This change was probably made because of all the glitches in Generation 2 with shiny values. No official name. This should be referring to the fact that despite shiny Pokemon being known by fans, that term wasn't officially recognized until Generation 3, where they were still referred to as alt colors in the games. However, the term shiny was first used on the shiny Milotic wonder card that was called, wow, shiny Milotic, which was released on October 12th in the 2008 TCG World Championships. That marked the first use of the word shiny in English ever. Shiny Ash Hat Pikachu. This special Pikachu, which wears one of Ash's hats, can also be shiny, but it doesn't actually change colors. You only get the shiny sparkles to appear if you happen to get one, but the Pokemon itself has no change. Gen 2 shinies can't be female. I guess it's just talking about how in Generation 2, shiny Pokemon can only be male due to how gender and shininess were linked to IVs. Cute Charm Glitch. This glitch in Generation 4 manipulates your trainer ID and secret ID to encounter shinies more easily. Your odds go all the way to almost 1 in 5, so your chances of catching a shiny Pokemon using this glitch are very high. Shiny Ditto Block in Scarlet and Violet Ditto Blocks in Scarlet and Violet can be shiny at a 1 in 100 chance. Unfortunately, they are just a little easter egg since you can't really do anything with them, but it's still pretty neat. No Generation 3 Methods to Boost Shiny Odds there were no methods like chaining or the shiny charm to increase shiny odds. Or shiny Dynamax Adventure. I believe this refers to the fact that despite the high shiny odds, no one has publicly reported getting four shiny Pokemon in one Dynamax Adventure. If you have or know someone who has, let us know in the comments. Cramorant's Shiny Story. Cramorant's shiny form might be inspired by an old story of seagulls who fell in pots of curry that turned the seagull the iconic orange color we all know and love. With Sword and Shield introducing curry to the game and Cramorant making its debut in this game, the chances are pretty high this is what it is, but it hasn't been corroborated by anyone at Game Freak. So again, this is just a theory. Pomeg Shiny Glitch. In Generation 3, using the Pomeg Glitch allows you to catch shiny Pokemon in the Battle Tower. The Pomeg glitch also allows you to travel to otherwise impossible to reach locations, like the faraway island, where you can shiny hunt for Pokemon like Mew. Kiram not shiny locked in black and white. Unlike Reshiram and Zekrom, Kiram is not shiny locked in Pokemon Black, White, Black 2, and White 2, despite it playing a major role in the story. All right, level four into the abyss. Generation one, shiny hunting. 
Shiny hunting in Gen 1 is possible, but only Pokemon with specific stats will transfer over as Shiny in Generation 2. You also will not actually be able to see whether or not the Pokemon was Shiny until it arrived later in your Generation 2 games. Trainers with Shiny Pokemon Some NPC trainers, like the Pony Island trainer in Alola with Shiny Execute, have Shiny Pokemon. Shiny Locks before Gen 5 Shiny Locks actually existed before Generation 5 in certain in-game trades and for Pokemon like Spiky-Eared Pichu. There are trainers out there who have been able to remove the Shiny Lock for the Spiky-Eared Pichu, but if you want to see what a Shiny one looks like, there are a few videos out there on the internet, and they're pretty interesting. Shiny Ditto transforms into Shiny Pokemon in Gen 3. This one's pretty self-explanatory. In Generation 3, a shiny Ditto will transform into the shiny version of the Pokemon it's copying. Shiny Starters in Oraz and Let's Go Demos Shiny Starters were available in the demos for Oraz and Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but their models didn't reflect the shiny colors in Let's Go's case. There was only one recorded instance of the shiny starter appearing from the Let's Go demos, but it still happened nonetheless. And thankfully, someone decided to record it. Emerald RNG Clones and Shiny Seeding Issues Due to RNG issues in Pokemon Emerald, shiny hunting can be tricky. Due to the fact that Pokemon Emerald acts like it has a dead battery in it, you can encounter the same frame every single time you open the game. That makes soft reset shiny hunting almost impossible since if you happen to start a save that has a late shiny frame, you won't ever be able to get a shiny in the first frames upon opening a game. So if my frame is 2 minutes into the game, Doing a soft reset will never result in me getting a shiny Pokemon. If you do find your shiny frame, however, this makes it possible to abuse that knowledge and get many shiny Pokemon as long as you know what frame you're going to get it at. Shiny Spinda Rarity The odds of two players encountering shiny Spinda with the exact same pattern is 1 in 1.24 sextillion, making it the rare shiny by pattern. Colosseum vs XD Shiny Rules In Colosseum, only Shadow Pokemon can be shiny, while in XD Gale of Darkness, only non-Shadow Pokemon can be shiny. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness is also the first game to show any overworld shiny Pokemon. Signature Move Animation Color Changes Some shiny Pokemon like Diplin and Dragapult have unique shiny animations for their signature moves. Poke Pelago Shiny Chances In Gen 7's Poke Pelago, shiny Pokemon can appear on your island. In the Poke Pelago, the odds are always 1 in 4096, but since you see many Pokemon, this makes this a great for lots hunt. One time shiny encounter in Sword and Shield. Some Pokemon in Sword and Shield, like Eldegoss on Route 5, only appear once, making shiny hunting them very rare. Fastest Starter Resets Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald offer the fastest starter resets for shiny hunting at 6.6 .6 seconds per reset. Now, this is only if you have a working battery, but still, those resets are incredibly fast. Roaming Legendary Genies must be shiny in first encounter. In Generation 5, the Roaming Legendaries must be shiny in their first story encounter, otherwise, they'll never be shiny again. Uncatchable Cutscene Shiny in Black and White Minchino in Black and White's opening cutscenes has a chance at being shiny. Alright guys, time to get to the downright obscure. Level 5, The Darkest Depths. Lucky Power 3 in Black and White 2. This rare power has shiny odds to 1 in 2048, making it very useful for shiny hunting in those games. However, adding the shiny charm does not affect those odds at all. Lucky Power S, an even rarer version of Lucky Power 3. This is the ultimate shiny hunting boost. Gen 4 Double Shiny Encounter Glitch In Generation 4, encountering two shiny Pokemon at once can cause your game to crash, losing both shinies. This is probably due to an oversight in the programming and very unfortunate for those who are both lucky and unlucky enough to encounter two shiny Pokemon at the same time. Bingus Zone in Sword and Shield. This glitch can place your character in the wrong location, leading to shiny Pokemon with incorrect encounter locations. Shiny Jirachi 
from the bonus disc. The shiny Jirachi from the Pokemon Colosseum bonus disc has shiny odds set at 1 in 7281 and is one of the longest hunts since each reset takes about 8 to 10 minutes. Shiny Eggs in Pokemon Stadium In Pokemon Stadium 2, there is a way to tell whether or not an egg has a shiny Pokemon in it. Shiny Pokemon eggs in Stadium 2 have a yellow tint to it that you can then transfer over and hatch into a shiny Pokemon. Shiny Unknown Odds in Fire Red slash Leaf Green The odds of finding a shiny unknown in Fire Red and Leaf Green are influenced by your Trainer ID and Secret ID. Professor Rex made a great video on this breaking it down, so if you get the chance, definitely go check that video out for a more in-depth breakdown. But the odds basically come down from a shiny unknown being 1 in 5120 to 1 in 18,432, which is just a big yikes for me. Gen 2 DVs In Generation 2, for a Pokemon to be shiny, it needs a particular set of DVs. Its defense, speed, and special DVs must be 10, while its attack DV can be 2, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 14, or 15. Its HP DV can be either 10 or 8 depending on its attack DV. This makes breeding the optimal way to get shiny Pokemon in Gen 2 because DVs can actually be inherited. A little further down, I'll explain the best way to breed in Gen 2 for almost endless shinies. Shiny Mystery Gift Piplup Certain mystery gifts are actually shiny huntable, like the black and white searcher event Piplup. These shiny Pokemon are not shiny locked, so if you are able to get these event Pokemon, they are shiny huntable. In Pokemon Let's Go, you are able to purchase a Magikarp, which is also shiny huntable. Pokestar Studios Scrapped Shiny Sprites In Black and White 2, opponents in Pokestar Studios actually have shiny forms coded into the game, but since these opponents were shiny locked, they were never able to be seen. Rumble Weekend and Safari Week Safari Week is an event for the Shiny Hunter community started in 2014 by Shiny Hunter Nick and promoted thereafter by Absol Blocks Pokemon. For this week, Shiny Hunters hunt in whichever Safari Zone they want to hunt in and then share their results with the community. Rumble Weekend was started by Absol Blocks Pokemon and for this event, Shiny Hunters have to hunt in the WiiWare game, Pokemon Rumble. Rumble Weekend has become so popular, a mod was introduced for the game that added in the missing Gen 2 and 3 Rumble Pokemon. The odds in these games are 1 in 8192, so while full odds, you still see so many Pokemon that this shiny hunting method is extremely enjoyable. I actually did a video where I shiny hunted in every single Pokemon spin-off game, so I'll put that at the end cards if you guys want to give that one a watch. Shiny Ditto Glitch This rare glitch allows Ditto to retain its shiny form from transforming. This glitch allows you to then abuse the shiny DVs and breed shiny Pokemon in Generation 2. Now stay with me here. The way to get this shiny ditto is to first trade your shiny Gyarados from Gen 2 and trade it to Generation 1. Once in the Gen 1 games, you can teach that Gyarados Mimic and battle a wild ditto. In battle, use Mimic to copy Ditto's transform and after four times, you can then catch the ditto and when you trade it back to Gen 2, that ditto should be shiny. That Ditto's offspring will not have a 1 in 64 chance of being shiny due to it inheriting the shiny DVs. Alright guys, finally, level 6 into the abyss. And I've actually invited a very special shiny hunter and Poketuber to help me out for this one. You'll see them very soon. Battle Revolution Shiny Outfits In Pokemon Battle Revolution for the Wii, any Pokemon on your team or on your opposing trainer's team can be shiny. However, the most obscure hunts in Pokemon Battle Revolution are the shiny costume hunts. To get these costumes, you have to battle the trainers that are wearing the costumes over and over until eventually their costumes have the shiny variation. The most famous costume out of all of these being the shiny Groudon costume. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon We Wear Shiny in the Japanese Pokemon Mystery Dungeon WiiWare games, there is a small chance you can encounter and then recruit shiny Pokemon. These are some of the rare shiny Pokemon anyone can have, as they're not only from Mystery Dungeon, but this Mystery Dungeon game was only available in the Japanese Wii Shop and is a highly obscure game. 
it actually uses the same models as Pokemon Rumble. And finally, allow me to introduce the creator of the shiny hunting method in Sword and Shield, J Flash, the creator of the curry hunting method. Hey Lua, thanks for inviting me. As a lover of obscure Pokemon knowledge, I'm glad to share some of my personal favorites with everyone. Sword and Shield, shiny curry mark. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, there's a very obscure mechanic in which you can get wild Pokemon to visit your camp after you cook some curry. The Pokemon will always have the curry connoisseur mark, which you can only get this way. And of course, the Pokemon you find can be shiny as well. Though I heavily popularized the method, Japanese YouTuber Kenzo Suzuki was one of the first recorded cases of a curry shiny Pokemon happening. Getting a shiny Pokemon with the curry connoisseur mark is something most shiny hunters won't ever have. Now, the steps in which to get a Pokemon to come to your camp are extremely complicated, so I'd recommend watching my video on how to curry shiny hunt if you want to learn a little bit more. Gold Ratata in Pokemon Gold In Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, there's a catching tutorial where an NPC will teach you how to catch a Rattata. From my research, there was only one documented case of this Rattata being shiny on the entire internet. Being a completely optional tutorial to even view, it made sense that no one had documented a shiny this way. So being skeptical, I tested it out myself. After 11,451 automated encounters using a script, I found the second documented case of an uncatchable shiny Rattata in these games, confirming that it was indeed possible. Star Shinies versus Square Shinies. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, wild shiny Pokemon, for some reason, seemingly always have square shiny sparkles, despite being known as the more rare kind of sparkle. As far as wild shinies go, star sparkles are actually way more rare. They're so rare that they're almost impossible to find, with each wild shiny you find having a 1 in 4,369 chance to have a star sparkle. Quite a huge difference from the 15 and 16 star sparkle chance we're used to. The reason why this happens is very in-depth and requires a lot more explaining than this. So if you want to learn more, I have a video on exactly that, which you can check out after this video. Misty Mark Shinies in Gen 9 The Misty Mark is a mark that isn't typically available to obtain in Scarlet and Violet, but not until you look at the Teal Mask DLC. You see, when standing at the boundary or flying high above Kitakami, this is known as the World End Biome meaning the only weather that can happen here is misty weather. Using these specific spots, we can shiny hunt Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet with the Misty Mark. Thank you guys so much for watching this iceberg video. It took so much work to get this one done. I appreciate everyone who helped me out with it. Their links will be in the description below. But yeah, if you made it this far, check out my video of me catching a shiny Pokemon in every single spin-off game. And if you made it all the way here, don't forget to leave a like and sub.